Hi, my name is Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. The website is organized into eight self-study lessons that, in my opinion, as a veteran therapist, all adults should take for their and their kids' sakes. Lesson one in this website is about a silent stressor in our society and perhaps in your home and your family. The stressor is psychological wounds that we inherit from our unaware ancestors. The wounds are things like being dominated by a false self, excessive shame, excessive fear, excessive guilt, excessive reality distortion, problems knowing who to trust and who not to, and difficulty feeling emotions and bonding in a healthy way. Many, many people that I have encountered as a veteran therapist in over 30 years have versions of these wounds, including me. I was raised in a low nurturance family. I inherited these wounds, so I know them from the inside out. This video is an attempt to alert you concisely. If you think you have some or all of these six psychological wounds, what does it mean? So what? Here's what. The first thing it means is unconsciously, underline unconsciously, you will be most comfortable with and will seek out low nurturance settings in which you will not get your needs met very well and it means that you will associate with out of preference other psychologically wounded people one of the most important aspects of this meaning is you will probably choose wounded partners to be spouses with over and over again. One common result, which is epidemic in our country, America, and perhaps in some other countries, is psychological or legal divorce. That affects almost half of American families recently and promotes kids in such families inheriting the wounds and ignorance that their parents inherited from their ancestors. So if by chance you have some of these wounds, you're apt to associate with other wounded people and you're apt to pick wounded partners, even though they're alluring, wonderful, magnetic, charming, exciting people. We wounded children, grown wounded children, GWCs, become experts by the time we're teenagers on masking our wounds. We deny them, we hide them, they're still there. Another thing that may happen if you are significantly wounded is you may be drawn into a human service profession. By itself, that's not bad. In fact, that's probably good. The open question is, if you were not so wounded, is this a profession you would choose? Or would you choose something else? Is that more your true nature? By the way, when I say human service profession, that's a wide range of things like nursing, counseling, social work, customer service representing, uh, marketing, many occupations that serve people in any way often are attractive to we wounded people. We seem to want to help other people in hopes that we get helped ourselves. A major reason that you want to find out if you have wounds and reduce them, if you do, we wounded people are used to having substantial stress in our relationships, our families, and our bodies. These psychological wounds cause anxiety, fear, anger, unfinished grieving, confusion, doubt, emptiness, numbness, most, quote, mental health problems, unquote. 
These are profound, they're subtle, often in my judgment as a therapist, they are misdiagnosed. For example, many people who believe or are told they have clinical depression, that's a symptom of ignorance plus psychological wounds which produce blocked grief. Medication will not help you grieve better. The biggest meaning of all, if you have an inherited psychological wounds, is you are prone to various kinds of illness. Quick example, we GWCs often use food to comfort ourselves. That produces excessive weight. That gives us uh, risk of becoming diabetic, which I am. Diabetes can cause liver damage, blindness, other medical conditions. This is just one of many examples where psychological wounds, which are largely unseen and undiagnosed, can affect your health. My parents were both GWCs, had no clue. Their generation knew nothing about this. They each were chain smokers and alcoholics. My mother died at age 30 of uh, 51. My father died at 63, well short of the average adult life in contemporary America. This is true for millions of people who don't know what they don't know. My purpose here has been to try and summarize for you why it's useful to find out, are you a grown wounded child? And if so, what does that mean for you, for your family, and any children that you may choose to have? I hope you will invest some time on your own behalf in studying self-study, nonprofit, free, online, lesson one at sfhelp. Dot org. Find out if you by accident have inherited serious psychological wounds. The lesson there will tell you what to do if you have. You can reduce these wounds once you admit them. I underline, you can. I've seen hundreds of people make substantial improvements in their lives once they acknowledge and commit to reducing these wounds. So, please consider investing time in lesson one in this website. Thanks for watching.